Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Voidigo. We are jumping in again for another run. Last time we got really, really far. We actually got to the last, uh, I, I assume the last floor. And we also unlocked a new character here as well that we're going to try out today and see exactly what we've got going on with them. Uh, I think in terms of starting weapons, we're going to go back to the pistol. I like the shotgun, but I don't know, it just didn't quite feel right. And we also did some stuff here and got a few of these leveled up a little bit. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we do for this one. Um, while on a run, survive the void, unlocking your character's essence. So does that just mean, I guess that just means win. Uh, but there you go. Anyways, let's just jump in. And yeah, we'll try out a new character here. So we've got Botanica. <clears throat> Botanica, yeah. Um, if you find yourself in a lush and healthy forest, you can be sure that Botanica has something to do with it. Once part of a small community of peaceful plant sorcerers that got overwhelmed by the onslaught of the void, she barely managed to escape thanks to her skill in teleportation. Now she's back on her feet and ready to face the darkness once again. Okay, and to start off we get ourselves the um, Pollen Dash. Magical technique was created by Botanica as a means of spreading pollen at high frequency. The result also works as a way to effortlessly dash out of the way of hungry um, perennials. Occasionally a seed will sprout from the excess pollen by dashing through flower. Um, it will mature and petals will fall um, off and target your furs. Interesting. We also start off with a unique weapon here as well. We don't get to choose between our other weapons, I see. Um, first plant ever enchanted before learning how to spread pollen by teleporting. She depended on a pot pal to help expand the forest. Now mostly a traveling friend and a reminder of how far she's come. Okay, let's go. Don't really know what to expect from this character. Seems definitely different. Um, okay, I'm going to guess this is the pollen thing it was talking about there. They said, that, they said about dashing. I don't know if I can dash. Right. Withering remains indeed. Right, let's just see what we can get in this first room here. We'll go down here. Okay. Boom. Okay, uh, interesting weapon here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, basically, I did take a bit of damage there. Basically, I fire this out, and it spreads seeds on enemies, impacting, impacting them. Okay, there's a flower as well there. Impacting them and then spreading some other petals around. I like it. Seems good. Seems overall pretty decent. It's gotta be- oh, you can destroy walls with it too, that's kind of good. It seems pretty powerful for a starting item, I'll be honest. Take that health there. It's not- it's weird, it's like- it seems like kind of hard to hit enemies accurately with it, but when it does, it's like really good. I like it. There you go, look, look at that, killing an enemy like that. Easy peasy. Okay. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the dashing business was about. Hurt yourself for five shards. I wonder how much that hurts as well. We've got you. We're getting our uh, essence leveled up. I think, we need, I think it said we need 50 weapons of essence to uh, get the full upgrade or whatever that was. We'll try and do that. Obviously, that's going to take quite a while. I'm guessing they're very um, sort of out there progression things that are going to take us a while to do. Good. Here's the boss. That's good, you're dead. Try and take out as many of these as we can. We don't stay stunned for long, but they're dying pretty quick. Good, good. It's like two shots to kill pretty much every time. hit for you. Is that, yeah, okay, that is you dead. Good. Okay, the boss is not a threat at all right now. What, what are you? Are you uh, you're one of the little midgies. That's fine. Oh, I've got my weapon essence already. Nice. I didn't realize the weapon essence was something you'd have to pick up. I thought just walking over it would count. There you go. Another weapon essence there. I like it. Okay, we've got one more, one more of these to get for the boss. I'll leave the boss for now and finish her off when I can. I'd like to get another weapon as well if I can. Hey, we got one of these things. 
Sometimes these take a really long time to pair, but other times they're really quick, so I don't ever want to bother with the amount of up, uh, like upgrade points I have right now. What you want to call these shards, I'd call them, I guess. We've got a challenge room here. Let's just do the challenge room. Why not? Uh, 20 of those. Combo stomp. No, let's take the 20. The traffic ones is annoying. I I've got to remember that I can't even shoot when it's red. Awesome. No entry sign. How many enemies we got here? Good. Hey, that was really easy, that one. Really easy. Also, this weapon seems pretty goddamn good. So we get ourselves Shotgun attack on reload during battle. Faster reload. Let's go with shotgun attack. I like the idea of that. Anything else in this room for us to see? Nah, we've got our 20 shards and we're good to go. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle, skadoodle. Yeah, I like this melee weapon. Melee weapons seem really, really, like, decent in this game. Okay, we've got our shop here. Basic shop. Okay, water bullet chance, faster reload. Um, The beacon powers, I don't know how good they are. Spirit assist on kill. We'll try that out. Faster reload is probably pretty good as well, actually. Although, d does that matter on melee weapons? Maybe it means you can just fire more often, I guess. And this last room down here should have our teleporter thingy. Not teleport, you know what I mean. It doesn't, we got another room somewhere else. Trying not to waste ammo here and just kill him like this. Somewhat worked out. Durability, awesome. So what's this? Sacrifice power up for max HP. Let's see what this actually does first, see if it's worth sacrificing. For your efforts in releasing uh, them from their mortal coil, thankful enemy spirits uh, lunge themselves into those that are still alive before. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I'll try and keep that and upgrade it. Okay, and then we're going all the way over here and to the right. Good stuff. I'm definitely finding the first floor a lot easier now before I was still struggling with it quite a bit. But I think I've really picked up this game. I mean, I'm recording this even though I don't need to. I'm just backlogging because I really want to play more. I just wanted to play more, so therefore I am. So like two swings of this thing takes things out. It's pretty good. There's our last one as well. We've got the boss on us now as well. Yeah, nice. Right, probably just use our plant weapon for a bit here. Okay, we've still got some boys here. Good. I say using a melee weapon here doesn't seem like it'd be the best idea. But we'll one off uh, our essence with this weapon, though. That was a bit stupid of me. Seems kind of hard to hit the boss with this thing. doing good damage though. Reasonably good damage at least. Uh, some of our flowers are different colours. Dude, that attack is brutal. Oh god. I keep forgetting how that attack works. Oh, I've got no ammo left. That's why I'm having trouble. Oh dude, you can shoot over rocks with that? Okay. Ah, this is weird. This weapon fe Do you know what? That, that, weapon's that weapon feels like it could be good. I think it's actually terrible. Like... It just, you can't aim it, it just does what it wants to do. Anyways, we're, we're, we're going to do a quick restart here, because that was kind of bad. Um, yeah, it, it, it feels like it could be good. I don't know, it just doesn't, it feels really janky to use, in my opinion. Like, it, it feels very much like it's luck of the draw, whether I'm going to actually hit the enemies that I want to hit or not. Like, this guy should be dead. I fired at him so many times already. Die.
There you go, you're finally dead. You're dead as well. You're dead as well. Okay, keep it moving. It's the first time we've had a really early death though, actually. Which is kind of good, to be honest. Surprised it's taken so long. But dude, this enemy shouldn't take so long to kill. It's so random. Sometimes it kills them so fast, and other times it's like, nah. I'm gonna take like six shots this time around. Okay. Do I want to feed the void? Not yet, I don't think. Let's keep moving on first. Open up a loot portal here. Giant insect debr debris. Can I, like, hold to fight this? Like, oh no. It's like a combo. I thought it was a charger. Let's go in here and see what's going on. Obviously, lasers will chase you for max HP. I'll take that. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Okay, we got it. Oh shit, I got hit again. I'm on fire. Well, that was not great, but it's fine. Um, melee weapon shock enemies, combo stomp. Let's take the melee, enemy, melee weapon shock enemies. I want to try and do some more melee stuff. Seems fun. Um, yeah, I'll buy some HP while we're here. Why not? I'll take quite a lot of damage there. Rather not take all that damage super early and have a low HP for the boss fight. That guy hit me as well. Do you know what? Recycle the hell out of this. This thing's crap. There you go. Full HP. I much prefer that. Hopefully we'll get more durability pots. Oh, hello. I will accept your quest. I only need four this time. I think before I need like six. Does this enable me to find HP when I'm at max? Oh, hello, boss. Nice electricity is good there. Hey, there's durability. Good, good. Ooh, the electricity's doing good stuff by the looks of it. Okay. As long as we're dealing good damage, I don't mind. The melee weapons are just a bit janky to use because they have such like long animations. You've really got to sort of pay attention. But they do really good damage, so I don't particularly mind. It's kind of worthwhile in a way. Right. Keep going down this way. Oh, some pots to crack there. Don't forget about them. Here we got our weapon essence now. Need to remember how to skip stuff. I wish it was just like a, a press and hold E rather than tapping and spamming it. Makes things a little more difficult. Check out these. Good. Boss is back. Okay, everything's dead. Take that out. Oh, God damn it. Such a bad hit. Especially when I've still got so much health to uh pick up for them for the for the woman. Oh my god, dude. Me laying this boss is kinda tragic.
Okay, we've got you. Oh shit, I forgot there was a second phase. My bad. This is gonna be real rough. I'm probably gonna die here. I'll try my best. There is like, you do get like off Windows opportunity, it's just still a little janky. Okay, good. That's given us a bit of breathing room. Is there no shop on this floor or am I just stupid? Oh no, shop's here. Grenade on reload. Water stomp. Bullet ring on reload. It's 25, but I don't have enough for that. Ah, nah, I'm not sure enough for 30 shards. Need one more health up. There's nowhere else to get it from, though, so it's just kind of do the boss and hope for the best here. Just gotta play it. Cracked out of our mind, I guess. We'll be fine. Oh, wait, there you go. There you go. Nice one. Okay, we got the babies. We can get a full heal now. I don't know if it's always going to drop a full heal, actually, this quest, but I'm going to imagine it does. Yeah, and a max HP as well. Okay, that was pretty awesome. Worthwhile, worthwhile. Right, we go. Boss man, it's time for you to be deaded. Wherever the hell you are. Yes, this weapon's really good. Certainly got a bit of risk to it, but I like it. Got a boss essence there, nice one. More durability. And faster reload combo stumps. I don't know if faster reload does anything for melee weapons, but I'm gonna take it anyways. Which will just go to the next floor. See if there's anything we wanna trade away. I can probably trade max HP at this rate. I've got quite a lot of it. Sacrifice max HP. There you go. Random bundles. That's pretty good. How many shards is that going to cost us? About 20. Eh. Nah, 20 is a lot. I will sacrifice some max HP for random bundles. Combo stomp. Fire sprint during combat sounds decent. I sprint a lot during combat. Increase accuracy and slight herming. Rat bullets. Water stomp. Let's go with water stomp. Let's feed this guy. Come on, please don't take all my stuff. Oh, dude, come on now. It's a bit ridiculous, that, isn't it? Oh, that did actually work. I was able to destroy it. I got five back. I mean, it's not a lot, but something. Good to know. I was just angry, so I was hitting him. Okay, next floor. Bit of a waste. I was just hoping to get some HP that I could carry me with me to the next floor. One of the few places where the blossoms are busier than the bees. Good. Fucking burn, guys. Gotta remember as well, melee weapons destroy shots. I always forget that. Yeah, melee weapons are going to destroy bullets, so I can just kind of melee while walking towards an enemy to kill them. It's pretty darn useful. Okay, let's get out of here. In terms of water stomp enemies, I'm not sure if water... Actually, to be fair, water's pretty good for us because we have electric on melee, right? I'm guessing them two combo pretty well. I'm guessing if we electrify a wet enemy, it does a lot more damage. Oh, 
We're all good, don't worry. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage here. Boss, I'm not I'm not involved with you right now. It take a lot of, took a lot of damage there that I shouldn't have. We shall be fine. Oh, what the fuck? One of them wasn't stunned, I thought they were. Okay, my bad. Definitely have to buy this now. And again, buy some more HP. Nice. Yeah. Destroying the skull do anything? Can never remember. Nah. Doesn't matter for us. Keep it moving back again. Oh god damn it. I I'm loving this game though. Absolutely loving it. It's just so... I like, I really just want to play it more and more and more. I'm I am glad I waited though to 1.0 because it just means there's so much more content. Oh, dude. The melee. God damn, this is so fucking slow. Okay, the boss is back again. Don't care for you, boss man. Ooh. It's not something I want right now, but full health and durability sounds real good. Do not get hit. Okay, we're good. We did not get hit. We can take the machine gun or the buccaneer. We'll take the buccaneer. And then we've got frog attack on reload, wind stomp. We're going to do wind stomp. Right. Back out again. Hey, at least that comes out with us. Nice. Splash those. I kind of want to keep them. Ooh, the wind stomp is kind of interesting. Give me some more durability, game. I'd like it for my weapon, please. Oh, I've got another one of these quests. I kind of like these. They're, they're, they're risky and they are hard, but they're fun. Yeah, damn. am. The door over here. What you got for us? Um, don't stomp on anything. That's another melee weapon. I'll take that. Take that instead. Uh, we can sacrifice this now, actually. Of course, we just get a fucking bunch of ammo. And a weapon. Wow, game. Not any HP that I desperately need. Increased melee durability. I like that. Okay. Get out of here. Okay, Buccaneer seems kind of decent. What's the Zapper like? 
Dapper also seems pretty good. Okay, we've got some good stuff going on. Right. Um, where go? Okay, room below us. you as well. Anything else in here? Yes, there is. There's lots of enemies per room. My stomps are doing crazy good damage right now, by the way. Like single stomps killing stuff. I see you, boss. I don't much care for you. I'm going to come and grab the zapper. Trade it in. I can't leave yet, bugger. Or whatever this is. Okay, this is doing pretty well. I can get down with this. Kind of want that buccaneer that was there before, though. Can I freeze you? I can. Okay, freezing is very good against bosses, apparently. Okay. I want my buccaneer back. The shock gun is pretty good, but... This thing seemed better. Boss is all the way over here now. Get over here, boss boy. I like the cold weapon, though. Ooh. What the fuck? Where the hell did this come from? Oh, it's a melee weapon. Ah, that's really cool. Broken rifle. Like, it doesn't shoot. It's just a melee weapon. Oh, shit me. This is a lot of damage. Requires a reload after every shot, though. It was quite a bit. Yeah. So maybe I go in there with the freeze get you frozen and then swap back to the buccaneer and calm down buddy holy shit I can think of so much goddamn damage you're off again anti-void attack okay I don't know where that came from either is this these flowers that are like spewing out stuff sometimes they're like, they're like killing other things near the flower and it get, I, don't, I really don't know I, I'm not understanding how this character works very well at all I'll be honest We're just kind of figuring out as we go. Where's our shop again? It's over here, isn't it? Let's go check out if the shop has anything good for us. Need two more babies for you. Good. Good. Both of those pretty good stuff. Max HP for 60 shards. Yes, please. Um, Stompable buttons seem fun. Right, we're good to go. And boss, where art thou? Down that way, I see. Yeah, Buccaneer, you're reloaded. Good, good, good. Rat button, go. Oh my god.
Okay, let's get in there with a the melee now. Okay, no, don't matter. I ratted it. You have been bested, fella. And... Go with that again. Right. Hey, it's at max rank now. Oh, the little noise it does. We get soul boot attack. Oh, we got one of those. And we get another one here. Melee weapons burn enemies, I'll take that as well. Give me all the peppers. Right. Back up to our quest. This run's going a lot better. So I think you always pair up with, with a max HP and a full durability and stuff. I think you do, don't you? Give me that little buff boy. Okay, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. I really should just do this, shouldn't I, and teleport back. Right, to the next floor. Beautiful. So trade the weapon for a power-up. Beacon spinning blade. Interesting. We got max HP for random bundles. We've got power up for max HP. Max HP for bundles. I like the bundles. They're fun. Faster melee attack. Hell yes. Right, let's go. I love the ability to just constantly be messing around with your max HP. Trading it, getting more, all that sort of stuff. I really like it. The pine crows That's spawn there, I guess. Penetrate frozen tundra. Let's use a cold cutlass for now. For a lousy snack. There you go. Dude, we've got this thing, this flower here. Look, do I have to kill enemies near it or something? Doesn't do a lot of damage to the Cold Cutlass, but obviously it freezes them, so that's pretty goddamn useful. It kind of needs to be, like, used with something, really. Like, I freeze them and then... Shoot them with something else. <laughs> nice. Who else we got in this room? No one. Okay. Okay. We're good to go. Yeah. This we're going to trade out this weapon eventually. It's it's okay, but it's not the best because it doesn't kill very quick. Aha, interrupted your attack pool. Oh, it's boss time. It's a horse! What the hell? It's a weird looking horse. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> on earth is going on right now. Oh my god, that was an insane amount of damage. What the fuck? Okay, this boss is ridiculous. You went away right as I used my rats, you dick. Sorry, I'm focusing so much, but like, goddamn. Game gets hard. Oh, 
you. Oh, you're going to die to that. That's good. I just love just bouncing at everything's head. It's so chaotic. Hey, finally got the my weapon essence for this. Took a while of doing, but I got it. Oh, we got the dog again. Maybe freezing enemies. Yeah, I think I think once I've frozen an enemy, jumping on them like is pretty useful tactic. Give me that dog. Jump in here real quick. Close-up camera. We've had this before. Close-up camera is annoying, but not terrible. That's that's a hot dog there. Do you see that? Good. Well, then taken care of. It's just not being aware of the other enemies is the problem. Like those guys. Doggy, get him. Ow. Burn him, doggy. I think we almost got everything. Is that not everything? Come on. How are you not dead? My dude, die. Holy shit, this dog does no damage. <laughs> All buttons follow you. All buttons suck. All buttons follow you sounds interesting. And we got... Protective Knight last time was really good. We'll take that. Right, let's go. Extend dog, please don't be terrible. It's just, yeah, it's just not very good, is it? Oh my god, this room's insane. Oh my god, this room is insane. So much going on in here. Get out of here. Oh my god, how the fuck am I meant to not get hit? There's so much going on and my weapon sucks so hard. And this thing's good, but its reload sucks really hard too. doing? Oh, what the fuck, man? This horse. This horse is insane. What the hell? <laughs> that horse is absolutely fucking crazy. That was, th that, that went well off the rails, that did. Holy hell. This game is so difficult. And I realize people are going to be like, oh, just turn the difficulty down. No, I like it hard. <laughs> just because I'm complaining doesn't mean I don't like it. Oh. Hello. Telescope. Intriguing. New entity. World expander. You can find new world tokens during runs. Collect them all in a world to expand it with new areas, challenges, bosses, and enemies. Okay. Your discovery. Um, that's 12, 12. This is three, so I could open that. This is two. Feed pet. Oh, the pet is. Oh, there's this one over here that's exactly eight. Let's go with the one that's exactly eight, shall we? Ap 
absolutely no idea. Uh, this entity might appear during a run. Um, challenge it for great rewards. Okay. Sounds pretty good. But either way, we'll let, leave off the episode here. I hope you guys did enjoy. This game is hectic as heck. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.